Bitcoin got this beautiful bounce back up, but right now in the short term, it's correcting ever so slightly. So we need to be talking about that exactly. Is Bitcoin about to fill up this Bitcoin CME gap? Well guys, Bitcoin got rejected from of this major level of resistance. Are we still about to be getting supported by this level of support? Well, definitely, today's update video is going to be a very important one. So, can we once again push up the likes back above the 100 likes? That will be absolutely amazing. And as always, let's have a look into what's the short term. And yes, in that short term, Bitcoin is once again correcting ever so slightly. We have seen uh, an about minus 4% correction right now. And we got this correction shortly after this news came out that Mt. Gox has once again moved a lot of Bitcoin. So definitely this has caused some fear in the market again. And yeah, this has caused a, a huge sell off in the short term. But in my opinion, this is definitely a very good thing. We have actually seen the Bitcoin fear and greed index once again getting back into us these greedy zones. We have seen a very big bounce for Bitcoin once again, so definitely a short term cool off is definitely to be expected and is definitely very healthy. Right now, in the short term, just stopping out all of the late longers. Of course, we have been buying this exact Bitcoin bottom over here, but people are right now opening up new positions right over here. And yeah, of course, they need to be getting stopped out. So yeah, Bitcoin has been exactly getting a rejection from of the golden, golden pocket Fibonacci level of resistance. But the question right now really is going to be, are we going to be seeing this further correction back towards the downside right over here to be filling up this uh, Bitcoin CME gap? Or are we about to see a bounce from of this level over here? Because yes, Bitcoin is trading on a massive level of support previous resistance and previous support right now turning into a support right over here and do keep in mind that bitcoin has been bre breaking this downtrend right now in towards an uptrend if we are going to be having a look into what's in this chart yes on that 16 hour super trend indicator we have once again flipped this trend into towards an uptrend and each and every single time uh, in this cycle whenever this has happened well we have always seen the trend actually continuing so if we flip this trend in towards a downtrend or in towards an uptrend we've always seen the trend actually continuing so right now yes we have flipped it in towards an uptrend definitely going to be a signal that i think that momentum is still going to be continuing so it doesn't really matter what's about to happen in the short term we still have breathing room all the way down towards a 50 59k level so yeah, we still do have a pretty big range to be consolidating in, but eventually I do think that we are going to be seeing another move towards the upside because we have right now flipped the Bitcoin trend into towards an uptrend. That is going to be very important, but in my opinion, having a look into what's this Mount Gox FUD, which we did have this morning, well guys, in my opinion, it's nothing, uh, nothing really all too big anymore. In my opinion, nobody really cares about this FUD anymore. And actually what we could be seeing with Germany selling off their Bitcoin as well. Well, Germany has sold off their Bitcoin exactly at the Bitcoin bottom. So typically what we can actually see is that these news events do actually mark a Bitcoin bottom in the short term. So yeah, in my opinion, nothing to really be worried about. Now this Bitcoin CME gap is going to be a huge CME gap. And yes, we do know of these bigger CME gaps or these bigger uh, CME gaps do not get filled very very quickly yes of course it is going to be very likely that eventually we are going to be filling this CME gap but because this is just a huge CME gap and because the Bitcoin charts are still looking very uh, very bullish I just think it is going to be more likely that we are going to be filling up this CME gap a little bit later and that in the short term we can still be seeing another push towards the upside. So yes, also in the short term, I think that we are still going to be getting supported by this level of support over here. Now yeah, if you are going to be falling down below this level over here, we do have a level of support still coming in at about that 59k, 60k level. So yeah, if we are going to be falling down below this level over here, that would still be another minus 5% move towards the downside. But in my opinion, that is not going to be very likely. And if we are going to be reaching this level over here, I do think at that moment, yeah, it is going to be very likely to be filling up this Bitcoin CME gap. But at this point of time, if we are still going to be holding this level of support, I do not think that that scenario is going to be very likely. And I still do think that we are going to be headed even higher and that this is just 
a short term cool off, a short term correction to be uh, shaken out, shaking out all of these late longers. So yeah, anyways, the Bitcoin charts are still looking very bullish, flipping this in towards an uptrend, breaking this very important level of support towards the upside, definitely looking very good, breaking this falling wedge towards the upside, just getting continuation in right now. Also, this bullish divergence right now is playing out. So definitely on that daily time frame, Bitcoin is still looking very good. We are just flipping our EMA ribbons right now towards the upside, testing it as support right now at this current moment. So yeah, we are getting a, a very similar situation in, just like we have seen over here, breaking the EMA ribbons towards the downside, then getting back above and then getting a huge move towards the upside. Right now we are just doing the same exact thing. So yeah, that is looking very good. At the same time, also still the Bitcoin liquidity is still sitting at the top side. So guys, in my opinion, there's really not going to be any reason to really be bearish about the Bitcoin price right now, other than this Bitcoin CME gap. So I will still be keeping my Bitcoin trade open. Now I have set my stop loss in a little bit of a profit over here. I've done this yesterday already. But yeah, the Bitcoin funding rates are still perfectly fine. They are still pretty low in my opinion. So yeah, I will still just be keeping my Bitcoin trade open. I still do think that we are going to be headed higher ultimately. And guys, if you are going to be getting interested in trading yourself as well at this current moment, well guys, there is a massive opportunity right now because with that link down below, you can right now be claiming a free 500 US dollars Bitcoin or altcoin trade over on Bybit. So make sure to be checking it out with that link down below. Now, on top of that, you're also going to be eligible for this 40,000 US dollar deposit bonus with that same exact link. So yeah, make sure to check out that link down below and uh, click on this button, claim in rewards hub, sign up a new account first of all, then click on this button over here. And then if you deposit $100, you can be claiming this 500 US dollar trade. So yeah, this is going to be an insane opportunity you are getting right now over on Bybit. You can be going either long or you can be going short. So if you are going to be expecting this bounce from off this level, you can be opening up a Bitcoin long position over here. Or if you think we are going to be falling down below and once again, uh, yeah, fill up this Bitcoin CME gap. Well, you can be opening up a short position as well. So definitely make sure to be checking it out with that link down below. Anyways, in that longer term, definitely. I think we can all agree that in that long term, Bitcoin is looking very, very good with this bullish megaphone pattern, with this Bitcoin bull flag pattern right now being created. And on that weekly time frame, yes, we have just yeah grabbed our liquidity down below this level over here gotten back above this level of support definitely looking very good on that weekly time frame in my opinion still the month of july is about to be a very bullish month for bitcoin i have said it in the beginning of july yes i do think that this month is going to be a very bullish month for bitcoin now anyways yes the bitcoin sentiment has flipped once again a little bit more into uh, in towards the greedy zones so that is why this correction in the ch in this short term is just very good, it's just very healthy in my opinion. But what is going to be an even bigger opportunity in the market right now is going to be Ethereum in my opinion, because Ethereum is right now breaking above this downtrend over here. It is perfectly retesting this, yeah, breakout of this downtrend. So yeah, also with the Ethereum spot ETF coming up next week, I think this is going to be a great opportunity right now in the market. Still, I do think that Ethereum is about to outperform Bitcoin massively. So yeah, I just need to be having a look into what's opening up maybe potentially an Ethereum position as well. Anyways, I will be keeping you guys up to date about that exactly if I am going to be doing so. Because yes, I do think that with Ethereum, we are having an insane opportunity as well. Anyways, guys, with that being said, make sure to be following me over on Twitter to stay up to date about every single market development. And guys, I'll see you in another video tomorrow morning.